Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Okay, now how do I install this one? I don't first put the tensioner. I don't put this one first, the belts are at the bottom and the small one. I will put that one later, I will put the belt first. Now, I already put the crankshaft here. I align, it's, it's here, it's easy because it's, it's not tension. So you can put a line here and here also. You can put it on the mark there. And this one, you can swing it here, going here. And this one, this one will move. So I put this one first, the cover, so it will not move there, so it will stay stay on the spot there i will put this cover first okay covers already in i just only hand tight this one because we can adjust this one later the height of this one as long as uh, the purpose of this one is to hold this one the crankshaft mark at uh, the crankshaft belt timing mark there so yeah and then put that one put the belt put this one this one just let it later the big one here and the small one here and the tensioner just put it later and then adjust it here it's easy to put here at the left side or sorry at the right hand side that one so we get line there and then here's the fun part here on the other side here we're gonna put the mark also again we're gonna align this one here at the bottom and just put some clip so it will not move and put it on the water pump and now we will install this one now because this one is a little bit off you see it's a little bit off because of our it moved a little bit now we're gonna pry this one okay we're gonna align this one now the top one by the use of this one pry bar small pry bar we're gonna pry this one a little bit here the bottom and then we're gonna swing up we're gonna swing it up to align this one here there we go it's moving there you go and then we can put our timing belt now it's easy because the tensioner is not there there you go already aligned there and then i'll put I'll put a clip again. This one here. To let it so it will not move. Let's put it there. Okay. Now we know that's already timing there. It's already timing there also. Now we can put the tensioner. I'll put the tensioner and the small one here. Okay. Now we can install the big one here at the bottom. There you go. Hand tighten. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Double check again the timing mark. Timing mark there. Timing mark there. It's already done timing. The crankshaft. Yep. And on both sides here. Yep, we're good. And at the bottom, we're still okay there. At the bottom, quite hard to see, but we're still timing there. Okay. And the two mark here also, we are timing here also at the middle. And here also at the middle here. Okay. Yeah, that's how I do it. It's quite easy. It's not hard. It's a little bit hard is here. To adjust is here. Just uh, try my fry bar technique and it will work. And two Allen. Two Allen 10 mil. Just zip tie it here and zip tie and put some pipe. And that's it. Uh, yeah, I will uh, tighten all now. Double check all now. Tighten all the bolts. And uh, this one, we're going to adjust this one also later. Because uh, gates, the tiny belt kit has the special tools for that one here. We're going to put this one here before we tighten. Or we're going to do that one now. 
because this one is only hand tied. See, this one hand tied also. Yeah, I like the gates. They make the add this one in the kit, like a special tools to put there. Yep, all the way, and you can tighten this one now. Ten mil. Yeah, like this one. Okay, we're good. And you can remove this one now. Okay, there you go. How, you, how do you? That's how I installed that one. Okay. Now I'm gonna remove my special tools. This one, the clip. I'm gonna remove the clip. It's all good now. It's already timing. And the clip at the bottom. I'm gonna remove this one also. This one. And now we're gonna remove our timing special tools. Uh, remove this clip. And we can remove the old belt here. Our old belt. Yeah, this is a little bit uh, tricky because the old belt is still there. But yeah, it can, it's still doable. And you're going to remove this old belt. And yeah, you see here, we have the Allen also 10 mil. And that's how I do it. Okay, now I already torqued it all. Torque all the bolts and nuts. No, no, no. There's no nuts. It's only bolts. This one, 14 mil, 10 mil here. I already torqued it up. And now the timing is okay. The timing is there is okay. I'm going to remove the pin now. This one. They called it the grenade pin. There you go. So I removed the pin. And we will now turn this one. We'll try to turn this one clockwise. And then we will check if the timing is still okay. Before you turn this one, just try to listen also if there's something crack or bang. <laughs> just take note with that one. If you have a wrong timing, it will make you can hear different noise if you turn this one. Okay. So far so good. one there you go Jordan timing there okay now can check again the timing mark if it's all on timing check here yep we're good you see the belts the timing on the belts already off see the yellow one it's already off yeah we cannot bring this one back um, but you can see here the timing is straight dead on that one there and here also, yep, the timing. And at the bottom here, check it. Hopefully, camera can see it. Uh, yep, I think it's. Uh, yeah, I'll double check later with the mirror. But I think it's on. It's on. It's fine. And here also. Oops. Here also. Yep, I think it's on dead on. Yeah. Okay, we're good. All timing. Seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven timing mark. It's already timing. All torque. I, I torque all the bolts. This one, that one, that one, this one, and this one. And yeah, take note this one also. Just don't forget this one, the plate here. And if you don't have the special tools, I have a special tools here for the, when, when I, it's included on the kit. When you buy a Gates brand, yeah, it's included one. If you don't have this one, uh, simple tip, just grab some zip tie. And if this one go pass through, it means that it's okay. You see, that one. Pass the zip tie there. On the other side also, there's a little bit friction, but it will pass, go through. See there. Yep, it passed the zip tie, yep, and then just tight this one also, the 10 mil. And yeah, just double check this one because maybe it will hit the belt and it will destroy the belt also every time it turns. Yep. 
So, yeah, that's a simple small tip. And then uh, I put back this one, the cover here. And I think it's good to go to put it back the cover. I will magically put the cover back. And here we go. One, two, three. Okay, there you go. Cover back. Now we're going to install the pulley. Crank chap pulley. I'm going to magically do that one again. There you go. Pulley installed. And now we're going to do the stretch belt. Aircon belt for this one. We're going to use the special tools again to install this one. Okay, we're going to install this one now. We put our special tools here. This one is like a flat, flat thing because this one is for installation. This one is a little bit curved because this one is for removing the belt. Okay, so we're gonna use this one. And there you go. Sorry, align this one here. One there, we're good. Here's our line, so yeah, we're good. Just remember, don't turn this one counterclockwise, it's always clockwise. Okay, we're good. It's on a line now, and I think the name, the name of the belt, always that you can read it. See that one? That's the position you can read the belt. Yeah, we're good. With my stretch belt and I'm gonna magically put it back all together the radiator and the fan I will do it magically again one two three okay already put it in uh, that's quite quick <laughs> I already put it in put some coolant and put the belt and I think we're good to go to start we're gonna start now we'll try to start it and then hopefully it starts You go. Turn off the aircon. I think I will try to crank crank first, not not all the way. Try to crank it. You go. Okay, sounds good. Try it again. That's a good sound. Now I will try to start now. There you go. Starts. Okay, I think that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching again. Hopefully, you learned something. Please like and subscribe again and hit the bell notification if you like this video. And also, shout out to the owner of this one, Sir Alex. Sir Alex, thanks for always coming back to me. And yeah. I think the car is all good. I will go for road test and see how it goes. But on initial thing, it's all good. Okay, no worries. See you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching again. Oliver, signing out. Salam sa Diyos. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to